Well, again, we're going to continue on with gateway questions for Math 104. This is number 13, and it falls into this category of number 11 through 22, where we're going to be solving for a variable. In this case, we're solving for f and an equation where there's potentially multiple variables. So here we got f, d0, and d1. We're only trying to isolate and solve for f. So the first thing we're going to do is isolate the variable. This is the more involved step. What we have to do is, in cases like this, first clear the denominator. We'll clear the denominator by finding a common factor, or the common denominator, f, d0, and d1. So the common denominator here is f times d0 times d1. And what we'll do is we'll multiply through the entire equation by this expression. So f times 1 over f, that's going to cancel out, leaving us on the left-hand side with d0, d1. 3 over d0, when d0 and d0 multiply together, uh, we're going to be canceling them out. So we'll have 3 f times d1. d1 and d1 will cancel, so that leaves us with 5 f d0. So what we've done is we've cleared the denominator, and we still see the variable that we're searching for, f. We're essentially done, because what we wanted to do was isolate the variable on one side. It is isolated on the right-hand side. Everything that's a term that has an f is on the right-hand side. Everything that doesn't have an f is on the left-hand side. Now we're going to move into factoring. What we're going to do is we're going to factor away the f from the right-hand side. So we took the f out of every term. Taking the f out of this term leaves us with 3 times d1. Taking the f out of the second term leaves us with 5 times d0. So we've factored the variable. Now we're going to divide. We're going to divide by the term, or the factor, that is not including f. So we'll divide to the left-hand side. And let's rewrite this. This is d0 d1 divided by 3d1 plus 5d0, and all of this is equal to f. So what we'll be plugging in? We'll be plugging in this expression. 